hey guys i hope you're all well and good welcome to another vlog it is now thursday so apologies worst vlogger ever as always very late i don't know why i always go on the move when i'm talking to you guys like it's like when i'm on the phone is anyone else the same like just can't stand still um so i've just filmed videos the whole house is a tip because of that like this room is a tip in our bedroom i'll take you back is a tip but I've got I also fake tanned and like that happened so <laughs> what a mess and look at the colour of my hand what an absolute state I am um so yes I just bought a million bazillion flowers for a shot that I need to take for a campaign tomorrow I'm not going to show you what the shot is because I feel like it's not going to go live until after this vlog is live and I feel like the company are quite picky and like they'll be annoyed basically i'll get in trouble if i share it i mean they probably won't watch this vlog but i just don't let's just say it's not been a straightforward process working with them and i don't want to give them any other reason to be annoyed with me um because i just feel like they're quite particular um but anyway so it means that i've got to organize a bazillion flowers for tomorrow hopefully it's not raining so i can shoot it but I need to shoot over the weekend. Anyway, that's not your problem. Um, I could always do it somewhere else if it needs to be. But anyway, sorry. I'm getting so easily distracted, guys. You have to, you have to believe this. Um, so I've just had a really relaxed week. I did actually start the vlog on Tuesday. But I gave you, like, so many, like, annoying things where I was like, oh... I'm gonna do something so exciting I can't tell you guys so I was like do you know what I'm just gonna scrap that footage because it's really annoying because I was gonna tell you and then I couldn't tell you but I'll probably tell you next week but it's really exciting but anyway I've just done what I just said was really annoying um but yeah it might be in this vlog later but I'll have to see um but anyway so what was I going to say so I'm gonna organize those flowers and yeah i mean i feel like this is gonna be a really boring vlog because first of all i'm i'm starting it so late second of all i mean if the weather 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 continues like this and i don't know what i'm going to be doing other than sleeping and reading and just mooching guys i just remembered something that i ordered that i can use for my flower arranging my new jug it's called the jugs jug so, i mean it's this jug was 350 pounds or 340 pounds. It's by the Anissa Kamish. I should probably put it down because I'm really clumsy. Um, but yeah, it's beautiful. Look at her. I feel like I want to call her Joan. I don't know why. Joan or Joelle? Joelle. Joelle. Um, but yeah, just got that. It was. I've wanted it for ages, but I was like, it's so expensive. And then Jack was like, why don't you just get it? Like, you spend a lot of money on other things that are a lot more expensive. And he made the point that homeware, things like that, don't lose their value. And equally, I haven't really bought myself anything nice, like, expensive um, since our honeymoon. So I feel like I can adjust by it. These the other day, which I think are really cute. This is turning into a little homeware haul. Um, they're actually KitchenAid towels. I didn't know KitchenAid did towels. I just thought they were so cute. And I'm doing obviously doing a picture that's like kitchen floral themed. So I just thought they would go perfectly with those. Um, so I just need to clean these vases out now. All these gross vases that have gross flower water in from before. Then I'm going to arrange my flowers. and the house looks like a florist which is the idea i put my best ones in there jack did you just fart 
No, listen, listen. Hi, I'm so chair. Um, I put the best flowers in there, I think. Did you just say fart is swearing? Fart is not swearing. Yeah. Yeah, old fart. It, you should say pump. Or... Toot. Pass, <laughs> pass wind. Morning guys, it's Friday now. So, me and Jack are just getting ready to take Penny for a little walk around the neighbourhood. Well, our neighbourhood is like central Stamford, but yeah. Um, because it's going to rain. It is raining. Oh, it's raining. Go down, go. Penny, don't touch Very that. short walk. Um, Penny, what did he just say? Don't touch that. Be careful soon, Penny. <laughs> um, so... Yeah, and then I was hoping to shoot that flower thing, but um, I'm hoping it doesn't get too dark because otherwise it's just not going to be possible. Sinead got her away, walking through the market. So I'm just getting ready to shoot that campaign and the brand's brief is like to make it all pinky and stuff because that's what their branding is. So you're not going to see this because obviously if it's a branded campaign they don't want other brands in it because that's makes sense even though it's not the same anyway uh like section <laughs> like it's not it's beauty it's not anyway um so i've got my little shorts on these ones from amazon they're so comfy i literally i love these shorts and then my levi sweatshirt so you're only going to see me from behind so i thought this was quite a cute little thing and then i've made my hair all curly so it's like inspo vibes and i actually used my new hair tool this one, which is from Negan Mizzle, I never know how to say her name. Anyway, she is a big blogger, you probably know who she is. She's kind of a big deal. Um, she's got her own range by called Gazoo, and it's incredible, and um, this colour is amazing. Like, look at my hair, guys. It looks so nice. It's just so wavy and natural. And then, um, because I was trying to be like what she would do, because obviously it's her tool, I put, oh, I've missed a bit. I um, put a bit of gazoo through with my fingers and like scrunched it and kind of brushed it out on my fingers um, to give it a kind of more natural look and I love it. So we've just finished shooting and I'm really happy with the pictures. I'm gonna edit them and send them to the brand today so that hopefully if they don't like them, which hopefully they'll like them, the flowers will still be alive when I have to reshoot. But we're hoping for good things. I'm obsessed with my new vase. Guys, it's so beautiful. Um, and I just love, can I just say a flower that I love that I feel like everyone gives so much shit to? The carnation. I feel like it's such a pretty flower. And people say they're like petrol station flowers, aren't they? And everyone's always like, they're cheap carnations. I think carnations are so pretty. I think they get a lot of flack. And I'm telling you now, I'm bringing back carnations. So I've actually changed twice. So I changed into a house CB dress in the end because um, I was shooting from behind and I just looked really bulky in like a sweatshirt so I changed into like a pretty floor dress it was like a corset almost and then I've just also put this on so the shorts and then a cute little um, cropped cardigan because um, I said to Jack since I've got this setup and all these flowers like I may as well do another pic I'm just scratching my head I don't know why it itches so much maybe I need to wash it um, I may as well do some more pictures um, which he kindly offered to help with again, or said he would help. And um, so yeah, I've just done those in another outfit. But he was like, surely you're not gonna post it, it'll look weird. And I was like, yeah, but I'll, wait, I'll just wait like a month and then post them. Like, um, I mean, it, it seems a waste to have this whole setup and not do a second set of pictures. Um, so yeah, that's my morning. I think I'm gonna take Jack to golf shortly he wants to practice and then i'll probably go to my mum's and edit these pictures and send them for approval um but it's meant to be bad weather all day but this was the main thing that i wanted to get done this weekend um so if i don't get anything else done today then i'll be happy because just this is like my priority my paid work um and also this brand have been as i said before they've been quite particular on what they want so that's why i want to edit these pictures and get them sent to them asap so that if there are any issues i can reshoot just had a little whip round and cleaned up and my new jugs jug looks great i think 
in here. I've actually got a print that I want to switch out this, these four prints for. It's just one big one um, and neutral and I just think it will tie the room together more nicely and make it feel like more light. Uh, I do really like those prints but I just feel like I'm bored of the orange. <laughs> but I'll, I'll probably keep them and then maybe I'll just change them around every now and again. Though Jack's probably hating the sound of that because <laughs> he's like, no way, you don't do that. Hey guys, so it's actually like lunchtime now, <laughs> um, but uh, it's Saturday and I'm all done up because I've actually just reshot some things. So the thing with the flowers that I told you about that I was shooting, was it yesterday? It feels like a year ago. I reshot it because I read the brief and I was like, I think I've done a good job, but I was like, there are things that they could pick at. So I just thought, I'm just going to do some more pictures whilst I, all the flowers are still looking lovely. And it'll be really quick and easy to do. Um, so that if they say anything, I've got a second round of images to send. Um, so I just did that just to like cover my back. But this room, guys, I don't know how I let it get like this. Well, I do because it's a jumping ground. But anyway... I'm going to sort it out today, I promise. So, I'm just looking around like, where do I even begin? So, I need to put you on a tripod, and that's where I begin. That's where I begin. I've got a cup of tea. got podcasts that I'm going to listen to. It's all going to be fine. I need to sort this room out too. This room is also a tip, but it's not quite as much as a tip as the other room. Um, all my stuff, as per usual. Poor Jack. Um... Yeah, I love this podcast at the moment called This Podcast Will Kill You. I literally have the weirdest taste in podcasts, like anything about diseases and serial killers, and I'm there. Um, but I just like learning. I like ones about history too. Like, so if you've got any podcast re podcast recommendations, let me know. I just, I'm not, if it's the right people, I don't mind listening to just like chitter chatter. But generally, I'm just like, what am I gaining from this? Like... I like to be educated, so I find it really interesting to learn about facts and things like that. So, if anyone knows of any podcasts that you think that I would like, let me know. Um, but yeah, the one that I've been listening to is this podcast will kill you, and they do a different disease every couple of weeks. I think they do them every two weeks. Maybe they do them every week now. Um, but anyway, they've done like the flu, which is literally mind blowing. The plague, like. Uh, rabies, um, sickle cell, I listened to that one the other day, it was so crazy, like I knew what sickle cell was, I knew it was um, something to do with your blood and I knew that people would be in pain from it and could get ill from it, but I didn't realise how awful it is, like honestly I feel like I've had so much of an education listening to this podcast, um, but yeah, just listening to what, listen to what about Rocky mounted spotted fever and it was so good um and now i'm listening to one that's like a collaboration with someone else about caffeine and like the history of caffeine and like where it comes from and how it was discovered um because they do ones with collaborations with uh another podcast that do about plants um which i've never listened to but maybe i should listen to that because i like the collaborations so i probably should uh but anyway so i need to sort this absolute tip pigsty uh, that I loosely call an office because let's be honest it's not an office it's a jumping ground uh, slash wardrobe and listening to that and drink my cup of tea have chill Saturday um so yeah I thought I'd let you guys watch me clean up <laughs> I don't know if you find that interesting or not but I feel like I always find it really satisfying to watch so you'll be able to see like the transformation
So I've kind of cleared up this room. I've done my Depop parcels and like there's the floor now. That bag is to go to recycling and bin. I've just mixed it all together. This is a box of stuff that needs to go downstairs and then I've got a bag of skincare. And I've just got so much skincare that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this into the other room and I'm gonna get out all of my skincare stuff that I've like shoved in a box in a cupboard in our bedroom. And I'm gonna get it all out and I'm gonna go through it all and I'm gonna pick, because I don't need this much stuff and I have to do this every now and again. I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna like pick out all the face creams and be like, I can keep two kind of thing because it just it makes no sense. So this is a cupboard of doom. So I'm gonna sort it out and Penny's gonna help me, aren't she? So I've got all of my stuff and I'm gonna make piles of like the categories of what they are and then I'm gonna go through them. Okay, so I've made loads of piles here. I literally can't believe how much stuff there was that I've been hoarding. Um, so this is my like bag of minis and I honestly only ever keep minis if it's stuff that I really like. Like I'm obsessed with this hand cream from L'Occitane, my favourite face cream, my favourite way leave-in conditioner, my favourite Elemis cleanser and my fave L'Occitane night serum. So I'm going to keep those um, and it's handy to have them in a bag even though it's like obviously a waste of a bag but it's just handy like when I'm going away to find them. So next I have cleansers and I feel like this is going to go in the travel one. It's one of those things that you don't actually need. Um, you don't need any liquid to take your makeup off. So I feel like that would be a good thing to have in the travel thing. Then we've got two Elemis cleansers which are my all time faves. This which is probably my favourite non Elemis cleanser that is not a balm. And then we have this Eve Lom one. So I think I'm not going to keep the Eve Lom one because I'm not a big fan of the smell of their balm and also just, yeah. So these two I'm definitely going to keep and I feel like I may as well keep that. But then I'm like, why? <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to put that in the maybe pile. Guys, I'm very impressed to see that um, Elemis have wrapped this one in paper. Normally they're wrapped in plastic, so they're obviously making changes, which is good. The next one's a face wash, and I don't actually use face wash a ton, because I use um, cleanser, but it's good to have one for in the shower, and this is the only one, so I'm going to keep that, because the one in the shower is like nearly done, so that's handy to have. And then this one, I was told this is really good, but I'm just not a fan of exfoliants, um, so I don't think I'm going to keep that one. Then I have two serums. I actually thought I'd have more of things like this. Um, so I'm actually not too hard, I'm being too hard on myself. But I think I'm only gonna keep one because I get sent them quite a lot. And I've just got two new ones that I'm trying at the moment. And this one, um, like a morning and night one. And this one is actually a facial oil, which I didn't realize. And I don't like facial oils. Now we're on to hair. And I, I tend to keep most of my hair stuff because I feel like, you know, you can never have too much shampoo and conditioner. I don't know how these guys have ended up in here because they should be out. My Gazoo um, hair perfume and my Gazoo, that, oh, that's a refill. That's why that's not in there. So I'll put that in here. Um, but yeah, so this hair mask, I'm probably gonna not keep because I've got a ton of hair masks and I've got one that I love that I rarely use from Elemis. So there's no need to have loads. Um, but yeah, this is meant to be really good actually. This is new. Got these the last week. These I'm really excited to try from Drunk Elephant because obviously all their stuff's all natural. I really liked their natural deodorant actually. 
and uh, then I've got some hair repair stuff and some Sasha Joanne. So I, I'm not prepared to get rid of any of those because I feel like they're just good things to have because it just stops me buying them. So I've just decided I've got two of these baskets. So I'm going to put the family stuff in one, which is like all the shampoos and body stuff. And then I'm going to put like skincare for me in another one. So I'm going to do that. Let me go and get the other basket. Then I have two eye creams and I'm not sure if to get rid of them or keep them both. I think I'm going to keep them both because I can't decide because I've tried this one before and I wasn't super impressed but it was the blue packaging and they've got a new one so I feel like I want to try that but then equally I've never tried this um, and it looks like I don't know I feel like if I've never tried it I should give it a go these are like my spot treatment things and honestly I can't say that either of them have like super worked for me and I always forget about them and I never use them so I'm gonna get rid even though I might live to regret that because I have got lots of spots at the moment um, so, I have a couple of Elemis things, my faves, oh three, so I have two night products, which I'm going to keep both, and the day cream, which I'm also going to keep, I'm actually using this at the moment, and I'm like probably two thirds of the way through, so I'm going to take that out of the packaging, I'm probably not going to take that out, just in case I change my mind about keeping that, but this I know I'll use, these are like my ride or die products. You guys can probably tell by now what my favourite skincare brand is. Um, somehow I have two of these and I don't think I'm going to end up trying them. So I'm going to get rid of both. Savage. And then I have this Bobbi Brown one. And I love Bobbi Brown makeup. But I've never tried their skincare. And I just feel like I've got enough Elemis to be getting on with. And then I'm not sure whether I'm going to keep this. Because I might try this Evelyn one. And then where to begin next? Oh, we've got Sensodyne and to toothpaste. I can get rid of the packaging in this one. Um, put it in the family bag. Perfumes. I have this one from Jo Malone, which is actually one of my perfumes that I wore on my wedding. So I'm definitely going to keep that, but I've actually already got one that's open, so it's like my restock. And then I've got this YSL one, which I'm gonna, probably going to get rid of just because I've got like 10,000 perfumes on the go at the moment anyway. Face masks. I have got so many and I always forget about them. So this one I think I'm going to get rid of because it's pretty much empty. It just needs to go in the bin. Then this one. Oh, God. We've got a mess going on over here. This is a new one. I don't know if you call this a face. It's like a face treatment. It's Oh, it's not focusing. It's a Pro Collagen Tri Acid Peel. Yeah, I can't wait to try this. I'm going to take it out of the packaging and put it in the bathroom so that I remember to try it this week. And we just have way too many face masks. This is another one that I really love and love using all the time. So I think I need to put that in the bathroom. Um, then this is a new one from that beached company. Um, I might put that in the bathroom too. <laughs> then all of these face masks, honestly, is just a joke. So... I'm going to put all of the under eye ones in the fridge. One One Skin is so good for face masks, you guys. And the Elemis under eye ones are. Um, and then, where else? These ones I never use. I don't know if to keep them or not. I feel like wasteful throwing them away, but I never use them. They're like blackhead removers. Um, and then more eye masks from Elemis. Why is that one in a cardboard box? I do not know. And then more nose strips. You can go because I don't use you. Goodbye. Um, and that, I have no idea. It's a unicorn mask. I don't think it's for me. Um, and then again, so anything warm on skin, I'm keeping because their stuff is just insane and very expensive. So I like putting expensive stuff on my face. Then we have some stuff from Skin Republic, and their stuff's really good too. So we've got some hand masks here, which they actually sent out um, at the beginning of lockdown, when everyone was using and washing their hands loads. Um, so, yes, yeah, I'm going to keep those, but I feel like I'm never going to get around to using them. I'm not sure what I could do to make myself use those. I just have to remember to use them. I'm going to put them in the family thing, though, because Jack can use them too if he wants. So I'm putting them, I've put all those in a makeup bag and then I put the other ones in makeup bags and these are ones that won't fit on top. So I've just separated all the makeup into sections. I'm actually really good, this is the only makeup I've got that's not in my makeup bag. So I'm actually getting really good at makeup. The only problem I clearly have is lipsticks. So I have this bronzer here, which I completely forgot about. I feel like all this makeup might have actually gone off. Okay, this is clearly broken. So that's going in the bin. That is an easy decision. 
and also probably you know since I moved I haven't looked at this makeup so um highlight little stick very cute really nice don't need it got loads probably gone off and then we have the same concealer so all of these I think I'm just going to get rid of because I've had them for so long that they literally are probably not good for me to use then these highlights I've got three highlights here these are all kind of half used so I've got my Dior one like I love the colours so much of that one this one is one of my all time faves and then this one I actually used this face I'm going to get rid of that one because it's pretty much gone and I actually never used it properly um, but these two I'm going to keep so I'm going to keep that one as like because it's fresh and new put all my makeup in the makeup bag there and then this actually I probably need a smaller one and then this one I'm going to add to my everyday makeup bag because it needs to be used again then I have the Charlotte Tilbury palette which is so good and I think I'm actually going to put that in my travel bag because it's really good for traveling because it's got like blush contour highlight and three eyeshadows so I think I'm going to put that in my travel bag and I'll probably use it when I travel then again I have this Charlotte Tilbury um powder uh blush which is so nice and pretty much new so i'm going to put that in my like to get out when i run out and then we go to eye stuff so i actually thought i had loads of mascara but i don't so i'm going to keep this mascara this Too faced one which i've actually heard a lot about for when i next run out and then these are my other eye products and i literally don't wear coal eyeliner but i feel like i should keep that just in case one day i want to um, this eyeshadow, I'm clearly not using it if it's in here. This is a brown liquid eyeliner and they are really good. So I'm going to keep that in case I run out. Though I don't really wear liquid eyeliner anymore. And then we've got two eyeshadows here which are really nice colours. Um, so I might actually put those in my everyday makeup. Okay, so we're moving on to brows. So I've got loads, I've got two hourglass brow things here which I did not realise I'd had. I would have used those. So I'm so glad that I've discovered I've got those for when I next went out and NARS love that this one I've never tried before and I think I've got enough there so I'm not going to keep that then we come to the lipsticks where I clearly have an issue of loving nude lipsticks now this Dior one I literally love but it is such a ball ache because it's got a little where's the little thing here it is um it's just not easy to put on but I feel like I don't want to get rid of it. But I feel like also if I'm keeping it, shouldn't it be with all my other makeup? I don't know. Um, I'm going to put that in the maybe pile. We've got two things in the maybe pile so far. <laughs> um, then, okay. So first of all, this lipstick is insane. Keeping that, putting that with my normal makeup. Is this what I think it is? Oh, I think that's an eyeshadow actually. A Sisley eyeshadow. So I'm going to cut that in my new things this is a really nice color from bobby brown so all of these lipsticks i'm going to put with my handbags a tip i learned from we are twin set put it with your handbags and then they're ready when you want to go out um and easy to grab so let's see what we've got here is that a nude yes it is oh god that's looking a bit worse for wear if you can see it it's like a little pencil um okay that is a nice lipstick though um and then what have we here charlotte tilbury really nice what color is that supermodel Rookie baby and then we've got more here so which ones are new and which ones are not so that one is so they're all like kind of they're all like kind of half used I feel like I really need to just cull some of them but I'm not very good at getting rid of lipsticks and as you can tell they're all pretty much the same colour as well what's that one now that's pillow talk and I don't like that in a lipstick controversial I know but I'm gonna get rid of that no one's gonna want it because it's got my skanky lips all over it so these lipsticks can stay and you can go. Then all my new makeup to use fits very neatly in my little Bobbi Brown. Oh no, it's a Harvey Nichols makeup bag. And I can put that away. Okay, then we come to skincare, which I feel like we have a shocking amount considering like I haven't been on holiday for a long time. So I have some bits from Cordley and I know this is meant to be really good and it's really expensive stuff. So I'm definitely going to keep that. Malibu dry oil spray. I don't use oil, so I'm going to get rid. Though I feel like Jack 
would like that. Maybe potentially you'll keep that. Aloe vera after sun, must. Garnier, see this, Gar I really like Garnier. This is a brand I trust. So I've got some Bondi Sands here too. Quite a lot of it. Um, I feel like maybe I'll just keep, I feel like I should just keep all of this guys because I feel like it's stuff I'm gonna have to buy in the future. And then we've got some after sun seether from Way. Okay, I'm just gonna keep it all. Okay, now I've got the tanning stuff and I always keep my loving tan, literally my baby. But it's basically all I use, but I like to have backup just in case. So I just got sent this stuff from this new brand, which is like a face tan drop. So I'm gonna keep that. I got sent some stuff from St. Marie's, but honestly, I'm not the biggest fan. I used to use it when I was younger and it dried my skin out. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Then this summer body I think will be good for like keeping my tan topped up. So I'm going to keep that. Um, this ombre Celeal one could be interesting. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to keep it just so I've only got one bottle of <laughs> Loving Tan left. And then we have Samara's Self Tan Remover. I don't really ever need to use that, but I feel like I should probably keep it in case. So I'm going to keep those and they fit nicely in that little bag which will go in my personal one, which is a lot neater than the family one. Okay, so these are all my body washes. I can't believe how many I've got. And I've got this body oil, but I think I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm really excited to try this Lizelle one, so I'm definitely keeping that. And I feel like, I mean, this is like one of my all-time favorite products ever, um, LMS. And these are really good too, so duper, and I like the fact that it comes like that. Um, these I definitely wanna try. I love the packaging and the Wren. These Imperial Leather, so I'm a bit torn on these because I really like Imperial Leather or Lather or whatever. I'm just worried that they're gonna be really sweet smelling looking at the packaging, but actually it doesn't say, it says like refreshing and uplifting. So, okay, maybe just the packaging is like putting me off because I think feel like it's gonna be like sugary smelling, but I'm gonna keep all the body wash. I feel like again, it's something that you get through so much and you need it all the time. I've got two body scrubs and I'm gonna get rid of both of them because I do not use body scrubs and I do not like them. Then we have all these body lotions. Again, oh my goodness, LMS Frangipani Manoi body stuff is my fave. This is new and these are new-ish. Well, they were new like six months ago, but I still haven't had a chance to use them. And then this stuff from Garnier is new and I've, I've had that before and I really like it. So I'm gonna keep these again because I get through body lotion so quickly. And that is all the stuff. So I've got a box of like body lotions, shower gel, shampoo, conditioner, and sun cream. And then a box, which is so much more organized of all of my products. And then those are the ones that go into the bathroom. These are the ones that I'm binning. And then these are the ones that I'm gonna offer to friends and family or eBay or whatever. And then put these in the fridge. My travel stuff will also go in here. And then I've just got this bag of random crap like a body scrubber. I don't even know what this is. And panty liners. So I need to just sort through that, but you guys probably are not interested. I hope you enjoyed my little clear out because, yeah, <laughs> I enjoy doing it. I feel a lot lighter. I feel like when my cupboards are organized, I actually feel like at peace in the world. Yay, this is so much more organized. Well, the, the makeup is makes me so happy morning guys it is monday slash sunday it feels like sunday because it's bank holiday weekend um i'm up super early well <laughs> it's not actually that early it's eight o'clock but i'm up and ready on a bank holiday monday because my sister was like i need to shoot something and i was like oh do you know what i'll meet you if it's going to be sunny because i've always got stuff to shoot and um penny's with me <laughs> And we're gonna go meet her just for a little walk. We're only going up the road um, for a little walk, morning walk. I've got made up, we've both made a flask of tea. Um, she's been to Mykonos, so I'm not gonna like touch her or anything because even though it's not a place to quarantine, I still wanna be safe because of my chest and stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna take her pictures on my phone and then airdrop her them. And then she's gonna do the same for me so that we don't have to touch each other. Um, and then take Penny for a little walk around the Burley house and enjoy the sunshine. So yeah, that's my early morning little adventure. I feel so tired though. I woke up at half six, 
and was like oh it felt you know it feels like you've not slept um and then i was like now i've got to try and get i did actually get back to sleep but anyway i do i don't feel great um but yeah with my little moan i'm wearing this cardigan which i've worn quite a few times now um i really like it it's from and other stories i've worn it as a cardigan and as a jumper and i'm not sure how i'm gonna wear it today for my i was like may as well get a picture too and then my little cami from top shop which i've worn loads too because it's just a good one and then i got some i got my new market shoes on but anyway i can't show you those so i'm sat in the car i'm gonna start driving now so i'm gonna be late it's such gorgeous weather here this morning just shooting something for lauren then i'm gonna nip in her spot i think i'm actually like the water's coming through okay let's get on with this penny come away she's cute she can be in oh, okay so peaceful hey guys i am so cold today i literally don't know what to do i can't believe how freezing it is and it's august it's the last day of august day oh i just remember what time is it oh, it's nearly 12 o'clock it's the last day of eat out to help out so i said to jack we should help out a bit <laughs> we've been eating out so much like it's really funny i've gone from being like I don't dare do anything. Then I went to ask twice in two days because I was like, I went to ask and it was the first thing I did. And then I was like, oh, okay, this one's fine. Then I've basically been to every restaurant in Stanford like 10,000 times now. Um, but yeah, I'm just, it's just, um, I'm just really enjoying eating out. <laughs> and it's all I'm doing, so it's nice. And you know, just helping out the, um, helping out the economy. Look how pretty the flowers are. I've got them everywhere because it's so, I've got so many. Um, just got this sweatshirt on. You guys have probably seen it already. From Levi and my pink joggers. And I've got thick socks on. So I'm so cold. I have just, so I got up early this morning. You saw I went for a walk with Lauren and Penny. And Penny was actually really good. She's been do, she's been really good with all everything we've been doing that the dog trainer told us to do. Um, so like with the treats. Um, and so she's still barking quite a bit around the house and like when when was she barking she was barking at me long when we were taking pictures but i think that was just like more of an attention thing um but she didn't bark at anyone when we were um walking around Burley, which is really good she was off the lead half the time there were kids going past on scooters like that is literally Penny hates kids. She hates scooters, anything with wheels. And scooters are so noisy. And kids are obviously so noisy, screaming. And they went past us two or three times and she was absolutely fine the whole time. So I just was like, Penny, got her attention and put my hand in my pocket and she was there because she was like, treats are coming. Um, so yeah, she's been really good. So hopefully that's gonna work. And yeah, she's been a yeah, good girl, Penny. Oh, look at her. Look at her all snuggled into bed. Oh, she's making me want to get in with her. Um, so, yeah, I can't believe the time already. I'm going to go and make my bazillionth cup of tea after the day. I have actually so shot some pictures with Lauren. I actually just went to shoot her pictures because she's got a campaign she needed to do. And then i uh, we went for a walk around Burley with penny because it was just like nice and it was really sunny this morning it was quite warm too um it was just so peaceful you guys would have seen it anyway and then we i just filmed i watched new girl a couple of episodes obsessed then watch i just filmed the cutaways for a couple of hauls that i've filmed the other day so i mean it's bank holiday monday so i don't feel like i need to be too productive but i've got a blog post i quite like to write and then if I get a chance, maybe edit one of these videos. And I also sold a ton of stuff on eBay. So I want to try and package that up. And then if I still have energy later, I might put some more stuff on Depop. I've got so much to work through, guys. Like, I just can't. I keep doing it in, like, just grabbing an armful of clothes. Being like, I'll put these on today. Um, but, yeah, I just want it gone. I'm tempted to just dump it at the charity shop. But I know there's stuff that's worth a lot of money in there. But it's just, like... I want it gone so maybe I'll just go through and reduce all the prices but yeah if anyone wants anything for a reduced price just message me 
because I am willing. I have my Gucci loafers that I'm selling too. And then also my Aspinall bag. I think all my other designer stuff went quite quickly, but for some reason the Aspinall bag has been hanging around for a while. Don't know if it's just because it's like structured style, or if I've listed it for too much. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll reduce that. Hmm. Anyway, that's me for the day. Oh, do you know what I did want to tell you guys? Oh, let me go and get it to show you. I used the new, so I don't know if I told you the other day or not. I can't remember what I told you and what I don't. Because I always get confused over what I've done on here and what I've done on stories. So I got this new product from Elemis the other day. And they sent me breakfast and everything. And I did uh, like a live, not a webinar, event, like a Zoom event. I probably filmed it all, so I'm probably just repeating myself. But one of the products was this, and that's like the main... It was this, the Pro Collagen Tri-Acid Peel. And this, the Pro Collagen Energizing Marine Cleanser. I've used this quite a few times. It's a really good cleanser. It does take your makeup off, but I would probably say only two rounds of it to take it off fully. Um, it's more of like, they, they said it's a good one for like a second cleanse after you've used your cleanser to take all your makeup off to like clean your skin. Um, I've been using it in the shower too. I think it's a good face wash for me in the shower and also like as a morning cleanser. Cause I don't normally cleanse my face in the morning and that's a good one for like waking you up in like a morning cleanser. And this is a pro collagen tri-acid peel. Now I was really scared of trying this. Like as soon as I got it through the post, I was like, I won't be trying that then. Um, because I've got sensitive skin. But what after listening to everything they said on the Zoom, it's a tri-acid peel so it's got three acids in it but all the acids are ones that work together and are made to work with um delicate skin and sensitive skin so i tried it last night i should have vlogged it but i did stories um so make sure you follow me on instagram if you want more because it's really hard for me to remember to like do it all and everything um but yeah so i tried it for the first time last night and I didn't know how much to put on, I just put like the amount I would have of serum because I thought you obviously I'm going to like cake it on and I didn't even have tingling guys, I've got really sensitive skin like when it, like not super super sensitive but like some face masks that are meant to be like calming, I lay like burn my skin, um, like glam glow, I can't use those, um, so I was expecting to not be able to use this but I thought I'm going to take one for the team, I want to try it, I feel like I'm 30 now, I like, feel like I need to be trying these things uh, for my ageing skin. <laughs> and I've got loads of spots, like here, here, literally loads all over my forehead. They're like more like pimples, but like big ones under the skin. Very painful. Um, and yes, so I tried it, didn't even have tingling, like honestly it was absolutely fine. Um, and I really like it, so yeah, I'm really happy about that. And I don't know if it's a first... I feel like on the Zoom thing, loads of people were like saying they were so happy that Elemis were incorporating acids into their products. So I don't know if it's like potentially the first acid product that Elemis have got in their range. But yeah, super exciting and very highly recommend if you've got sensitive skin and you've been wanting to try a chemical peel or like an at-home peel or anything with chemicals in like an acidy thing uh, because it was really good. Hey guys, so I just tuned in to say goodbye. Oh my goodness, I look awful. <laughs> Somehow I've managed to have a side part in. Um, oh, honestly, look at me. Uh, it's Tuesday, I've forgotten what day of the week it is. Um, and I'm just having a really rubbish day. I was having a good day and then I stood up in a tiny cupboard in our house, whacked my head and then was just like, today is not a good day. Also, like breaking out everywhere. So this would happen before the peel, by the way. So don't worry, it wasn't from that. Um, and yeah, washing drying in the background, <laughs> standard. Um, so I just tuned in to say goodbye basically and thank you so much for taking this washing down. Thank you so much for watching my vlog. I hope that you enjoyed it. If there's anything you want me to include in these vlogs, just let me know and anything you want me to film in general. And if not, then I will just see you next time. Bye.